okay children today we will see another new chapter that is animals common insects so we are going to study about insects insects are the largest group of animals thousands and thousands of kinds of insects live on the earth so insects we can see them everywhere either they are in the jungle forest or they are in our house and many thousands and thousands of insects are present in the earth or they live on the earth okay some common insects now we will see about some of the common insects that we see we uh, common insects like ants ants flies mosquitoes and cockroaches we can see them in our own houses and the other common insects that we see outside not in the house but we see outside are bees butterflies grasshopper dragonflies beetles ladybirds termites which are also called as white ants so what we find in our house is cockroach then we find fly right we find mosquitoes we find where is the picture of the ant okay ants we found find this kind of insects in our house and outside we can find beetles grasshopper dragonfly okay termite butterfly ladybird honey bee these all we find outside next we will see about the body parts of an insect all the insects have three pairs of legs they can have more but all insects have three pairs of legs some of them have wings one or two pairs some of them have two wings some of them have four wings depending on the type of insects insects do not have bones like we have bones animals have bones birds have bones insects do not have bones but they have a hard outer covering made of a substance called chitin this produce pronounced as chitin okay so they don't have bones but the outer covering of the insect is a is little bit hard because it is made of a substance called chitin which what is the role of this chitin it protects their soft internal organs what is there inside the body the internal organs the chitin protects those soft internal organs now you can see the picture of the insect okay now we will see about the body parts of an insect the body of an insect is divided into three sections what are they head thorax and abdomen so this portion is the head this portion is the thorax and the remaining portion comes under the abdomen first we will see about the head the head carries the eyes mouth parts and antenna that is also called as feelers each kind of insect has different types of mouth parts based on what it eats insects use their feelers to feel hear smell taste and so on so this is the head and this head consists of the eyes a pair of antenna then the mouth part okay so antenna is also called as the feelers so the feelers what does the feelers do they help the insects to feel or sense around them okay to feel hear smell taste and so on this acts like the sense organs that we have in our human body okay now thorax this forms the middle part thorax is the middle part between head and abdomen okay the legs and wings are attached to the thorax so here the legs and the wings are attached in this thorax okay 
then abdomen what is abdomen this is the last part of the insect's body the thorax and abdomen have spiracles through which the insects breathe as i had told you in the previous chapter that insects breathe through spiracles what are spiracles tiny holes that are present in the insect's body through which the insects breathe okay so this thorax and abdomen have spiracles the eyes of insects are different from our eyes they are made of many small eyes and are called as compound eyes this is a compound eye of an insect we have two eyes one one eye right but the insect's eye are made of small eyes okay many small eyes so that is why they are they are called as compound eyes